Thank you for loving my glasses. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, 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 okay. Oh gosh. I just saw praise. Praise. Oh gosh. Hi and good afternoon from the city of Dallas. It is the emotions doctor. How has your day been? I am aware that in some countries you are exploring and experiencing evening already. In some other countries, it's their morning because they are 14 hours ahead, like Australia. And, <laughs> you know, in Africa and other countries. So, it's a beautiful afternoon in the city of Dallas. The temperature is about 28 degrees. It's cold, you know, but we're winging it. We're here. And wherever you're joining from West Africa, all over the world, can you kindly let me know where you're listening to my voice from? Where are you experiencing this conversation from? I will be typing what we're discussing this afternoon. Um, what we're discussing this afternoon is the real meaning of do not be unequally yoked unequally yoked so to this conversation is about the real meaning of do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers with unbelievers so please let me know where you are listening to me from please let me know where you are listening to me from today's conversation is tied to the title do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. What does it really mean? Please tell your friends to join the conversation. Hello, everyone. Please let me know where you are tuning in from. What part of the world are you experiencing this conversation from? We are discussing the statement, title, instruction, admonition, whatever it is that is that says do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. What does it really mean? Does it mean anything? What does it mean? What exactly does, you know, is this about? Welcome from Nigeria. I see people from the US. I see from Nigeria. Where are other people? I know that Kenyans are in the house. People from all over the world. Talk to me. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Let's talk about Ghana. I see Ghana. I see I am Diddy in the house. I see I am Diddy in the house. Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. What does it mean? Because if you do not understand the meaning of a thing, you will most likely misuse it. If you don't understand what something means, you may not fully experience everything about it. You know, so if you don't understand what it is to be a man, to be a woman, to be in a relationship, to be in a marriage, how can you act accordingly? Because you don't even understand what you're getting into. So what does it really mean to not be unequally yoked? So please, once again, please let me know where you're listening to me from. It is going to be very interesting. It is going to be very beautiful. We're going to be having that conversation that has to shift something in you this beautiful afternoon in the city of Dallas. So let's talk. Where are you listening to me from? I see awesome people here. I see one of my faculty members, Rama, is here. I see um, one of my friends, Praise. I see awesome, awesome people. And then I see members of the Fluffy Life Club. You know, in Fluffy Life, our mantra is a soft life in a hard world. Now, I know with the hardness of the world, but we are soft. So nobody should come you know to disturb my fluffiness so cool 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 what does it mean to not be unequally yoked with unbelievers what does it mean i'm going to break the statement down and in breaking the statement down we're going to be starting with the etymology meaning the root meaning of the word unequally yoked and the root meaning of the word unbelievers somebody from england is in the house good to see you we're going to start with the root meaning of the word unequally yoked and the root meaning of the word unbelievers root meanings of words means the etymology of the word unequally yoked and the etymology of the word unbelievers 
So to understand the meaning of do not be unequally yoked, we have to break down, we have to strip, we have to destroy and pick the words one by one before we now join them together to give a meaning. We must break them down one by one before we combine. So for example, you want to make a meal. You start with something you call ingredients. The essence of ingredients is that if we don't know what you are processing or what you are adding together, we will suspect the end result. We must understand the ingredient and see that to make chicken stew, this is what we have to blend and infuse and put together to make sandwich. We have to get the bread, the eggs, the butter, the sausage, the whatever you want to include. So do not be unequally yoked. We are stripping words before we combine the words. So let's go for it. When you are talking about unequal yoke, the etymology of the word unequally yoked, the root meaning of the word unequally yoked means two people living in opposite directions. So when you are saying that somebody is an unequal yoke, somebody is an unequal yoke, I am giving you the one of the simplest and easiest meanings so that you can listen to this and grow immediately. When you're discussing what you call an unequal yoke, we're not even going to go into the meaning of the yoke, the origin of the word yoke. We're going to leave that for now. But the etymology of the statement unequally yoked is two people living in opposite directions and then the etymology of the word unbeliever is somebody who doesn't believe so do not be unequally yoked number one unequal yoke two people in opposite directions a non-believer is someone who does not believe what religion has however done is that religion has interpreted or taught us that an unbeliever is someone who doesn't believe in our faith. Now, the statement, do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever, first of all is, do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever, unbeliever, somebody who doesn't believe. Number two is in opposite directions. So if you're saying do not be unequally yoked, you are saying do not move with somebody who is in opposite direction with you spiritually, emotionally, mentally, financially, physically, in every area of your life. But what religion has done is that religion has made us feel like do not be unequally yoked means somebody who has to believe in your faith alone. No. It is just not about spirituality. You can meet somebody in church and the person is an unequal yoke. That we go to church together, we are in choir together, we are leaders together, does not mean that we are in the same or facing the same direction. We can both be in church, we can both be Christians, but we are not in the same direction an unequal yoke is somebody who is not in the same direction with you direction with you vision wise direction with you mission wise direction with you what you want to do with your life it is not everybody you meet that is good for you and that is the reason why some people married people they thought were religious or christians or whatever you call it and the marriage is not working because there's an unequal yoke emotionally mentally physically psychologically in every area of their life they don't align and then you say to them that oh but we are christians the fact that we are christians does not mean that we're headed towards the same direction it doesn't mean that we both share the same dream it doesn't mean that both of us align and can two work together except they agree. So do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. 
is not an unbeliever is somebody who doesn't believe in what you believe in and that means believe in what you believe in spiritually emotionally mentally financially physically in what you believe in an unbeliever is just not somebody who doesn't pray to who you pray to no it is deeper than that an unbeliever is someone who doesn't even believe in you it is not everybody that believes in you. It is not every male. I didn't say man. It is not every male that desires that the female prospers. For example, some people want to get married because they want to control people. Other people want to get married because they desire companionship. If you desire companionship and you marry a male that desires control, that's an unequal yoke. Because he's looking for how to suppress and oppress. He's looking for how to ensure that you never succeed beyond or above him. He's looking for how to clip your wings. And if you want to soar, if you want to prosper, if you want to live your dreams, you must be with a man who is secure enough in himself and secure enough in allowing his partner fly. So do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. An unbeliever is someone who doesn't believe in you. Someone who doesn't believe in your dreams. Someone who doesn't believe in your vision and your mission. Someone that you do not align with spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, psychologically. An unbeliever is not someone who doesn't go to church. An unbeliever is not someone who is in church or no. An unbeliever is someone that you are not aligning with. Is someone that does not fit into where you are and where you desire to be. People have married their enemies right in the presence of the church. They have been, what's the English? They have been joined together and then you will be saying that what god has joined together god did not join everybody together pastors joined prophecy joined culture joined greed joined sex joined money joined everything trauma joined problems joined <laughs> whatever you call it it is not every relationship that was joined by god and then every time we're going to say oh um what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. God did not join everybody together. That you wore a white dress and he wore a black jacket and a black tie or tuxedo does not mean that God was present. Even if you fell under the anointing, it does not mean God was present. Even if somebody prophesied, it does not mean God was present. We can fake it. We can pretend we can give word of knowledge. We can do everything. We can shake our head, enter any zone you want to enter. It does not mean God was there. So unequal yoke. When you are hearing, do not be unequally yoked. An unequal yoke is that two people are facing different directions. And an unbeliever is somebody who doesn't believe in you. Dear women, it is high time we took responsibility for people we fall in love with. Meaning, it's not every guy who says hello that you are thinking of getting married to. Like, are we even serious? Ha! Huh. Yeah. It is not every guy who says they want to marry you that is supposed to be married to you do you understand it is not every guy all oh, this and uh, be thankful that somebody will propose be thankful come they are trying to sow seeds of mistrust seeds of you are not good enough and everything else that may later destroy you in life there are eight billion of us in 195 countries are you aware eight billion of us the fact that you exist means that somebody like you also exists. You do not have to marry from your nation. Mm -hmm. There are other good people who were raised, programmed, created, and engineered to respect, love, and cherish their women. 
And if you are a Christian, the foundation for accepting any proposal is a man that loves you as Christ loves the church. If they cannot love you as Christ loves the church, just leave them alone and let them be going. Do you understand? Perfumes have gotten married, shoes have gotten married, brands have gotten married, accents have gotten married, beauty has gotten married, and the people are here living their worst lives. An unequal yoke is somebody that is going in an opposite direction from you. An unbeliever is somebody who doesn't believe in you. It is not every man who wants women to prosper. In fact, let me even change it. It's not every male who wants women to prosper. Some male, it's not men, some male are just waiting to sit on people's destinies. Do not let them turn your life into a mat. Yes. There are so many insecure men. Thank you for buying the badge. Thank you so much, Joseph. There are so many insecure men and there are so many good men and there are so many insecure women also. So insecurity is not tied to gender, but there are some people that the moment they know, they will even tell you. Somebody was asking me one question. Why did you even ask myself? He said, you look like somebody who doesn't take rubbish. I said, do you serve rubbish? He was looking at me. I said, if you are led to serve rubbish, be going in front. Don't bring your rubbish curriculum. That curriculum tied to suffering and pain. That curriculum where you want to be giving. I'm an elderly person. Just carry it and be going. If there's rubbish in your buffet, carry it and be going. If you keep malice with joy and peace and loyalty and faithfulness, be going. You have not reached your destination. An unequal yoke that will make you question the faithfulness of God. Do not go and enter it. It is not everybody who is kind. Kindness is not normal. You have to practice kindness. You have to grow in kindness. And it's not everybody who wants it to be well with you. Some people have gone to go and marry their enemy. Yes. And I'm saying this because I work in the mental health field and I just see, I just see wickedness. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> People are sleeping on the same bed with somebody who has the capacity to kill them. Let me tell you something. You don't have to marry from your nation, no. Yes. It is not every nation that has the ingredients to produce. They have refused to produce kind people. Japan lost in World Cup. They waited behind to pick the dirt on the field, on the football field. People asked them why. They said, we are Japanese. We don't leave rubbish behind. They lost. Oh. They played football. They lost. They waited behind to clean up. When they asked them, they said, we are Japanese. We don't leave rubbish behind. That's a culture. There's another culture that promotes oppression and wickedness. You don't have to marry them. You don't have to be unequally yoked to them. If you are African, you don't have to marry an African. There are good people in the African section, the culture. There are good people there. You don't have to marry from there, however. There are 195 hot countries. Men with pink lips and character. Do you understand? Men with six packs. Clean men who speak in tongues, who interpret good men in other countries. Do you understand? Go ye into the world. There are 8 billion people. Hot men. Hot. Hot men. Men who will wake you up with breakfast in bed. They exist. Men praying for their wives. They exist. Men who dash their wife's money just for dashing their money, they exist. Good people, good women exist also. Do you understand? Don't go and be unequally yoked. Unequal yoke is that you are walking in opposite direction. Don't go and marry a terrorist because you met in church and both of you were singing in choir. Let me tell you something. Rapists go to church and they don't go to church to go and change. They go to church to go and find good girls. Dear Christians and ladies, 
<laughs> Watch and pray is an instruction. Let God open your eyes of understanding and then ensure that you have good friends around you so that when love is doing you, it's not doing your friends. Your friends are asking you important questions. What does he live for? What are his core values? Some of these human beings disguise so men and women. An unbeliever is somebody who doesn't believe. When somebody does not believe in you, that's an unbeliever. They don't even have to believe in God. Because somebody who can see you and does not believe in you, how would they believe somebody who have, they have never seen before? Whoa. <laughs> don't marry your enemy, your singles. I am a non-believer is somebody who does not have believe in anything, believe in you, believe in God that spiritually, believe in what you believe in emotionally, believe in what you believe in financially, believe in what you believe in mentally. If you want to align, there must be an alignment. Oh, people are speaking the same language. All these opposites attract. Let it end in movies and in novels and meals and bones. So oh, in real life, marry your kind. <laughs> don't let them get you. <laughs> Marry your kind. Do. Opposite attack, opposite attack. You are not a chemistry material. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> let me drink water. <laughs> you are doing opposite attack, opposite attack. You are doing physics and chemistry with your destiny. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them do physics and chemistry with your destiny. Oh. <laughs> because <laughs> if you mistakenly marry your enemy, you will question God. Because that's when you'll be saying, ah, I did all, I did all, I did all. Do not be unequally yoked. It's not just talking about spirituality or religion. Remove religion from your head though, and your worldview and whatever. Remove religion. Do not be unequally yoked means do not be with somebody moving in an opposite direction. Do not opposite direction spiritually, emotionally, financially, mentally, physically, in every way. Oh. That you met them in church does not mean they are in God. Any soul that cannot love you as Christ loves the church. Leave them, let them be going. Let them go and marry their kind. Some people are emotion, emotional ritualists. They don't want to be held accountable. They don't want to be respectful. They don't want to be loyal. They don't want to submit unto one another. Do you understand? And all of this comes from self-awareness. When you know who you are, you will not be eating from the platter of rubbish that they want to serve. And then if you are not tied to being liked, you know, sometimes some people want to be liked, they want to be respected. I'm not interested. Keep your likeness, keep your respect. No, 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 be that one. I'm your ancestor. <laughs> I, do, I don't feed on those rubbish. And, you know, it's better to be respected than to be liked. That's your headache. <laughs> do I get someone who says you? <laughs> no. Anybody who desires to save rubbish, let them be going. Do you understand? Just let them be going in front. You know, let DPS direct them above. Your destiny is not tied to suffering and pain. You deserve fresh love. Do you understand? You deserve somebody to be romancing you, to be kissing you, to just be praying for you, be blessing you. You are passing by, they are hitting your bum. You know, all those play that we cannot even describe here. You deserve something soft. Do you understand? You just deserve softness. You deserve softness. You have suffered a while. After you have suffered a while, then will I establish you? Then will I settle you? You deserve softness. You don't have to marry from your nation. Do you understand? Yes. You don't have to marry anybody from your country or your nation. Good people are not scarce. All these good men are scarce. It's a lie. We are 8 billion. 8 billion. India alone, they are one point something. Do you understand? China alone, they are one point something. They are 8 billion. If he can feed the sparrow, your spouse is around and your spouse is single. So you are not even going to snatch because the spirit of snatching is not upon you. Do you understand? No, there are 8 billion of us in this world. In fact, they want to even create mass. 
there are 8 billion, 8 billion of us in 195 countries. So good people are not scarce. Remove it from your brain. Good people are not scarce. His eyes are on the sparrow. Your husband is single, waiting to find you. Don't go and settle because they asked you out. It's not everybody who asks you out that you are going to date. Do you understand? Let them go and marry themselves. Marry softness. And then marry at your level or above your level. All this one that you want to be marrying potential now, now no. Because sometimes potential is potentially dangerous. There are some potential that are good people. Do you understand? Yes. But there are some potential that are potentially dangerous. Once, <clears throat> there are some potential that are potentially dangerous. So, whoa, you know that we will hear stories. You know that we hear stories. Ha! We hear hot stories. So, take it easy. Oh. Do not be unequally yoked. Anybody, anybody going in opposite direction, spiritually, emotionally, financially, mentally, physically, let them be going. You oh. pray for them. Namaste. Just wish them well. It's not every six pack that is your pack. Oh. It's not every boobs that is your own. Don't go and be, don't go and be breastfed by your enemy. Oh. Some men here, you have sucked breast to the point where you are we have not entered one chance, they have gotten you. Women, <laughs> if you know how mindful your creator your creator is of you, you will not be spreading, you, you will not even be dashing your dignity. Do you know who died for you? Do you understand? Do you know who died for you? Do you know who died for you? Stop running up and down for marriage conferences as if good people are scarce. They are not scarce. The one that created you is mindful of you. Do you understand? Stop making it look like God hates you so much. He wants to see you suffer. No. Do not settle. Do not settle. Go and Google up self-awareness, dignity. Understand your worth. Marriage is not a competition. There's no relay race. There's no who arrive first. You are not, you are not competing, competing for red house in marriage. You, you know, it's red house that is always coming first in the other spot. You are not competing for red house. So. Whoa. <laughs> don't let, don't be unequally yoked with your enemy. Oh. Don't be sleeping with your enemy. That's the reason why we're having this fellowship today. And we'll soon call for offering. Don't sleep with your any meal. It's not every bro. I don't want to be hearing, eh? you know, I'm 30, I'm 35. You will marry like this six months after. You will now see that their job description was directed and emailed from the devil to kill, to steal, and destroy. There are some people who are employed by the devil to steal, to kill, and destroy is their job description. And they're very faithful to it. I am here to let you know that whoever created you is mindful of you. Remove scarcity from your head. An unequal yoke is somebody going in an opposite direction. An unbeliever is somebody who doesn't believe. It's not just title religion. No. Somebody who doesn't believe. If they don't believe in you, let them be going. Dear women, let me tell you something. The only person who has the capacity to change another human being is the one that created them. You know sometimes that the spirit of Savior enters women. He's saying he will change. I will love him till he changes. His mother did not change him. His father did not change him. His siblings did not change him. Okay, it's because of the blowjob you are giving him. You will not think he will change, Abby. Clap for yourself. Minister of blowjob. If you like, lick it front and back, neck and front, everything. He that wants to stay like a stronghold will be a stronghold. Whoa. <laughs> hey, hey. The good news that I'm bringing to you is the good news of preservation. I know what culture wants to do. They want to set you up to destroy you. Your enemies want to set you up to destroy. They say, manage. There's no perfect person. Manage. There's no perfect person. Let me tell you something. They are good people. They are good people. I'm not looking for perfection. And I'm not saying you should go and be looking for perfection. No. They are good people. 
Let me tell you something. No matter the style you give him, he that is a principality will act like a principality. If sex was keeping men, all those people that they call prostitutes, how come they are not happily married? Is food, if food was keeping men, how come chef and all those people who cook with anointing are not happily married? Whoa. <laughs> you better go and collect us question paper and see life. If you like, let them swing you and almost kill yourself under the guise of you want to give him hot sex. It's good to give hot sex, whether male or female, because if all you are giving is missionary woe, something's wrong with you. I just say I should put that one in. Yes, it's good to give us sex and all of those things. Do you understand? But let me tell you something. The only person who has capacity to, to save and change is the most high. Even therapists don't change. What we do with you is to attempt to influence, but you have to give us permission to influence you. If not, you will be a solid rock. Dear women, <laughs> You think that uh, I will give you hot sex if we change? <laughs> are you are you the first person sleeping with? If it was very easy to change, his mother breastfed him for over one year. He's still not listening to his mom. You think it's your breast that is different? You know, honestly, we deceive ourselves a lot. Thank you for buying the badge, Madam Gill. Do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. Especially people that go to church. All you are looking for is another church goer. Somebody who's... They, well, let me tell you something. There are some children of the devil that speak in tongues. I hope you know. It's very easy to speak in tongues. They will cram it. They will just say... Blah, 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 blah. That's the end. Though. Hope you know that people can cram tongues. That is falling under the anointing means absolutely nothing. That is carrying pastor's Bible means absolutely nothing. That is singing on stage means absolutely nothing. That is in prayer department means nothing. You do not need to sing to be a good husband. You don't need to pray to be a good husband. Though. Do you understand? Because religious people will just carry God on their head and not do anything after. God only gave one person a spouse. And it was Adam. And he came back to st stress God. <laughs> and God gave us free will. By yourself, go and choose. Anything you want to choose, choose it. Single ladies, don't be in a hurry. It is not every male that is a man. It is not every male that wants companionship. Some want control. Do not be unequally yoked. If you don't want a traditional marriage, do not marry a traditional man. There are some men that are very wicked. They can't clean the house they live in. They can't feed themselves. They will get home earlier than the woman. They will still not feed themselves. Like they are delegating their gastronomic experience to another human being. Some men, if they hold the broom to sweep the house they live in, they will be paralyzed. Don't go and marry them. If you want a lover, marry one. Do you understand? And then they can pretend. So also, do you have women? Because I also know that my gender, you know, sometimes I even want to give you people this gender because on our lap plenty also. Sometimes my gender is also the queen of witchcraft. When you are dating, you'll be acting like what they call wife material. Before they do when you are going to fry plantain. You are making stew. You are wearing apron up and down. What is in you is, is bigger than what... <laughs> Whoa. Your life and your marriage is in your hand. Do you understand? And that's why I brought this good news. Do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. An unbeliever is somebody who does not believe in you. An unbeliever is somebody who is not going in the same direction emotionally, spiritually, financially, mentally. Marry at your level. I came to say it. Yes. Marry at your level. There are some potential that are potentially dangerous. Marry at your level. Both men and women. Mm 
-hmm. marry at your level if you like money marry somebody who has money the same thing vice versa yes it is not a sin to like money it is a sin to allow money control you but it's okay to like money money answers all things it is scriptural marry at your level you are not the one who lifts people up. That's the and that's Jesus' assignment. You are not the glory and the lifter. That is God. Because sometimes people want to go and be lifting people up. I don't have a problem with helping people. Help them as friends. Help them as colleagues. Go and marry your husband and wife. Don't turn human beings to projects. You know that if nobody tells you the truth, I will tell you. Because I'm not here for you to like or respect. I don't send you people. <laughs> I'm not here looking for farm base. I am just here to preserve your mental health. If anything goes wrong, you will pay me. <laughs> That's why. I am here to preserve your mental health. An unequal yoke. Thank you for buying the bad rules. An unequal yoke is somebody who doesn't believe in you. Women. It is not every male that says hello that you will marry you or go and date. Let us be used to kindness. Do you understand? Be used to love without romance. Not everything must end in romance. Not everything must end in sex. Consultation with me. Please send me a DM. It starts from thousands of dollars. So to see me face to face in a conversation on Zoom or in real life is thousands of dollars. So you can send me a DM. It's thousands of dollars. Women, you need to treat yourself with dignity. Thank you, Rama. Treat yourself with dignity. All this scarcity mentality of, uh, you know, and there are no men. They are men and they are women, good people. Be used to kindness. It's not everybody that says they want to marry you that you must marry. Say, so at, at least be thankful somebody proposed to you. No, Jesus died for you. Do you know who that person is? He died so that you will not settle. Yes, you can send me a DM. He died so that you will not settle. People, you people don't even, even know what it is to be a child of God. Like, do you know the material you are made of? Say, I should be thankful somebody wants to marry me. Are you, are you serious right now? No, I'm not thankful. Keep your thanksgiving to yourself. No. Marriage is not that you are doing anybody a favor. Marriage is a life assignment. Your destiny is tied to it. Some people ran mad because they went to marry their enemy. Some people died because they married their enemy. Come, heaven on earth exists. There are people who are enjoying their relationship and marriages. It's not everybody that is that has, that has become a philosopher. No, there are people enjoying their homes. But we need to get it right. We need to open our eyes, watch and pray. Don't be going to reception to be eyeing men. And anybody who greets you like this, you see, what? That the first night is coming. You know they will prophesy again. That 2024 is your year of. Um, it's your year of marriage. I like the prophecies and I'm, I, I, I like it. But let me tell you something. Don't go and put yourself on expressway just because you heard 2024 is your year of marriage. Do not be desperate for anything. You have your life ahead of you. Husband is not going to end and wife is not ending and there's no scarcity anywhere. There are so many beautiful unions. Prophecy is about to start. You know, we're entering December. Prophecy is about to start. They will start doing prophecy now. They will start creating conferences. Thank you for buying the badge favor. They will start creating conferences, start calling for, uh, uh, if you want to marry next year, they will even tell women to wear wedding dresses and come and dance in church. I don't have a problem with all of those things. What I have a problem with is that do not be desperate. There are 8 billion people in 195 countries your husband is single. You don't have to snatch. Your husband is single. A good man that will marry you and treat you the way Christ said men should treat their women. Thank you for buying the badge and your faith. Men should treat their women. 
women are being slapped, they are being beaten, they are being oppressed, they are being suppressed. That's not marriage. That is bondage. That's a detention center. It's a magic in your shield in Boso. That is not marriage. That is a detention center. And it's not the will of God. God is so romantic. Go and read songs of Solomon. Very sweet God. Says, his eyes are on the sparrow. Before you were born, I was mindful of you. Are you serious? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. My daddy is my shepherd. Don't let anybody stress you. Do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. If you are single and you are listening to me, I don't want to hear when you went to go and marry one guy that you settled for. Do you understand? Collect fresh love. Collect fresh love. Can't you see how people are treating women? Leave the wicked one to be single. Let them be lonely. I will change him. Save your holubala. Nobody is going to change you. Even therapists don't change people. I'm just here to let you know in case you think that my work is changing. No. My work is to hold your hand to achieve what you should be achieving. But if you don't desire to achieve it, I can't force you. Do you understand? Because I don't even practice witchcraft. I can't force you. Single ladies are jumping everywhere, taking anointing oil. You are drinking anointing oil. You are drinking white water. You are going to this um, ocean to go and have your bath. Because of one partner. It's one. No? It's one man you want to marry you that you are already being spiritually naked and outsourcing your spirituality. One man. You don't even know the person that died for you at all. Like The way you even disrespect God is very funny. This is lack of self-love. When you don't have enough love for yourself, anybody that says hello to you, you will already think that you will marry them. Marriage to some people like this is the destination. Once I marry, I will be happy. It's not true. Hope you know. If you are not happy single, you will not be happy in marriage. There's nothing in marriage. It is what you decorate it with. There's no love in marriage. Love is in people. There's no kindness in marriage. Kindness is in people. There's no compassion in marriage. Compassion is in people. What you get, it's what is in you. The wickedness people experience is the wickedness that is in them and in their partner. All of them are just wicked together. If you are a wicked man, you will be a wicked husband. If you are a wicked woman, you will be a wicked wife. It's a matter of time. Pressure will reveal content. Do you understand? Marriage it's like an empty house. You will go and decorate it with what you want. Some of you think that once you marry like this, happiness, joy, unending sex. No. What is in you is what you are going to decorate it with. If you are wicked, we will see the wickedness. Do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. Don't go and marry somebody who is going in the opposite direction and you think that you will change them. You are not GPS. An unbeliever is somebody who doesn't believe in you and you do not align spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, psychologically. That is an unbeliever. Not just spiritually because people will go and marry in church they think that they will not live happily ever after. It's not true. It's not true. Terrorists are in church. Wicked people are also in church. And the fact that they are carrying pastor's Bible means absolutely nothing. Or the fact that he's a pastor. Religion does not mean you know God. You may be cramming scriptures and be very wicked. The fact that you are cramming scriptures does not mean you are practicing the scripture. Some of us crammed in school. We can't remember. Do you understand? That they are quoting 15 verses daily. If you have a problem joining relationship, come and pay. Working with me one-on-one -on -one starts with thousands of dollars. It's my time. It's my expertise. And that's what I want to charge. Yes. 
single men and women. Anything you want in your relationship, become that thing. If you know that right now you are sleeping up and about, let me tell you something. If you don't stop it, you will most likely not be faithful in marriage. Thank you, Bolaji, for buying the bag. You will most likely not be faithful in marriage. If you haven't learned self-discipline and self-control, when you marry, you'll be hopping up and down like a rat. Marriage does not cure indiscipline. Marriage does not cure greed. Men know what they are doing when they are cheating. They are not unconscious. They are not in coma. Women know when they are cheating. One day we will agree that cheating is tied to greed. Mm. Yeah, I'm not afraid of any of you. Nobody is feeding me. Thank you for buying the badge, mental health. Nobody is feeding me, so I'm not afraid of you. And I've paid my dues to say what I'm saying. One day we will agree that cheating is greed. You know what you are doing. So if you are already hopping up and down now, you are not faithful with one person you are dating. Marriage does not transfer faithfulness. Marriage does not transfer kindness. It doesn't transfer compassion. If you are a good person, go and marry a good guy. If you want faithfulness, go and marry a faithful guy. Sometimes you and I will see red flag like this. We will be believing God for the guy to change. He that has not changed before marriage, don't go and trap yourself. Don't let marriage alter your destiny. I just said I should come and tell you now. And then when you see that you are falling in love with a foolish person, it's not that I want to insult the person, but this foolishness is a state. They can change, but leave them alone. But when you know that you have child made one mistake, go and inform your friends, especially the ones that have sense. Because they will help you to clear it. <laughs> they will remove the cobweb from your eye. Come. Whoa, if you hear destiny changer, destiny changer, come and change my destiny. Whoa, don't become a philosopher. Don't be happy as a single and be miserable as a married person. L when you see the red flag now, it's not that you are canceling them, but you are praying for them and you are releasing them. There are 8 billion people on earth. There's a difference between a red flag that should be avoided and what somebody is interested in changing. Any man that hops up and about while he's dating you will most likely cheat when he's married. Any man that is wicked to other people, you see the way he treats people that he thinks can be beneficial to him. You see the way he treats people he thinks are lower than him. One day, he will do the same thing because pressure will reveal content. This message I am passing is a message from God. Do not be unequally yoked does not only mean that marry a Christian. No. The fact that they are carrying a very big Bible does not mean that they are children of God. Some can read from Genesis to Revelation. There is nothing in the Bible they are practicing. While some, the only thing they know is the Bible verse submission. When you hear a man that is hungry for submission, leave him alone or avoid him by all means. It's a controlling, patriarchal soul. Because the responsibility of men is to love their wives as Christ loves the church. If he leaves his responsibility alone and is focusing on submission, that means that he does not want to give, he wants to receive. Very simple, because follow your homework, face your assignment. Any man that is asking you, what do you think about what the Bible says about submission? What does he think about what the Bible says about being loved as Christ loves the church and can die? And then you don't have to marry from your country. Check the ingredients they used in raising men and women in your country. Is it the ingredients you want in your marriage? Not everybody was programmed with kindness. 
or programmed with love. If love and kindness are far from them, avoid them. Or they will turn your romance to horror. What they will do with your life before you go out, you will seek permission. It's not information. You know, sometimes you want to go out, you are informing your spouse. You, this one, they have to permit you. The day they don't want to go out, you won't go out. The day they don't, in fact, sometimes they will even collect your money, your own money that you work for. Do not be giving you allowance from your hard earned money. Any man that wants to do who they breathe and is choking your life, avoid them. The devil is their employer. Their job is to steal, to kill, and destroy. And I came to set you free. Don't rush into what you will rush out of. Don't cry at night or every night. Do you understand? Watch and pray and love yourself. Eat what will give you joy. Romance yourself. Take care and pamper yourself. Carry yourself to go and do facial. Do massage. Let them press you. Do pedicure and manicure. Go and paint your face. Love yourself. What you are looking for, do it for yourself. You deserve it. Don't delegate your love to somebody else. And what you are looking for is also looking for you. So take it easy. All oh, this one that you put on expressway, just looking for how to snatch men, snatch men, snatch men. Whoa. <laughs> It's like you are not seeing what is going on. If you want to experience love, take it as you. Desperation delivers nothing but shame and disgrace. Desperation. It delivers nothing but shame and disgrace. Take it as you. And if they want to marry before 35, if you marry at 40, what part of you will die? You know, they will not say eh, that, eh, eh, you know, um, our eggs. Hope you know that you can freeze your egg. And let me even tell you something. Whether you freeze your egg or you don't freeze your egg, it's not everybody who gets married that will have children. You need to understand how to trust. Trust in your creator with all your heart and your soul. You don't need plan B with God. If you want to freeze your head, proceed and free, freeze it. Very logical, very rational. But don't go and rush into what you will rush out from. Desperation will lead to disgrace. Because you will just be shocked at how ladies are. You know, you in fact, you will see the people, some people are dating sometimes, you'll be wondering, ah, this is an unequal yoke. The guy doesn't believe in them, doesn't believe in anything that they believe in. But they think that with good sex, it will change. Or if I cook rice and beans or salad, it will change. Are you serious? Like, are you really serious? Let me tell you something. Even if you have a pole in your room and you are doing pole dancing. <laughs> Whoa. The only person with the capacity to change another person is the one that created him. You, like this, you are learning work. Have you even finished changing yourself? Do you know how difficult it is for you to even change yourself? That's the good news that I brought to you this afternoon. The good news I came to share with you this afternoon. Do not be unequally yoked. An unequal yoke is not tied to religion. An unequal yoke is somebody moving in an opposite direction from you. Number two, an unbeliever is not tied to religion. An unbeliever is somebody who doesn't believe. Believe in you, believe in what you believe in spiritually, emotionally, financially, mentally, physically. Once there's no alignment, let them be going. Don't think I will change him. I will change him. Have you finished changing yourself? Have you finished changing yourself? All the habits you are dealing with, are you done changing them? That you think that another person you just met six months ago, because you now started breastfeeding him, you will change him. Breast now change adults. Or hips now change adults. Or blowjob changes adults. Are you serious right now? 
Really? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Hmm. <laughs> if you like have a PhD in sex, what human beings want to do, they will do. Do you understand? Marry good people, kind people, people who love God without your intervention. Not somebody you have to be reminding, let's go to church, let's pray, let's read the Bible, let's go to a mosque, let's pray. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do you understand? Men, you know, they used to deceive men by saying that, um, uh, what do they used to even say? Um, you know, sex, food, all of those yeah, yeah things that they used to say. <laughs> Don't let them destroy your future. Gentleman, it's not every woman who wants to serve you her body that you should collect. Do you understand? Because some of you, the moment they touch you like this, everything about values and self-control and self-discipline has left. They will snatch your destiny and they will change it for you. I think it's even disrespectful that they make it look like men are rabbits. They sleep around. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? Like, they, they are just always on heat. If I was a man, I would really, really feel very disrespected. That you just feel like men are permanently on heat. They lack self-control. Once you touch them, they are destroyed. Ah, ah. This your gender is strange. Like, you see that you people don't feel somehow when they are attempting to describe your gender. Because the narrative they have sold about your gender is that once they touch people's head like this, you will lose control. Is it that you people are not used to touch? You are not used to love? You are not used to romance without sex? You know the reason why? Because the narrative they've also sold that the only way to intimacy for men is sex. They want to destroy you. Offer by life in age. They want to destroy you. Men, let other men hug you. And you don't have to say no homo. We are not interested. Receive hugs without sex. Non-sexual hugs. Be used to kindness. I have a habit of appreciating men. And I notice that every time I appreciate them, they're always looking at me like, what do I want? I don't want you. Your shirt is fine. That's all. You know when you say, oh, color blue looks really good on you. It really fits you. And then you have a nice pair of shoes on. They are ready to be following you everywhere. Oh God, I'm not interested in you. I just greeted you. I'm not the reason why you are following me. Ah, are you not used to kindness or appreciation? No. Sometimes I will see some of them and I say, oh, I like the way you carved your beard. And they are ready to follow me anywhere. No. I just like the way you carved your beard. I'm not interested in anything about you. I'm not sexually attracted to you. No, I just like the way you carved your beard. Be used to kindness, darling. Yeah, be used to appreciation. Be used to appreciation. Just be used to hearing good things. I tell my friends good things. I have nothing, no sexual desire tied to them. No, not, not everything must end in orgasm and ejaculation. We are elderly people. What's going on? Do you just think with your private parts? Uh-uh. Even, even niceness. You say men even suspect other men's niceness. Like a lady cannot even say, I love the brand of perfume you're wearing. And you already think that, oh, she's all head of use. No, that's not my problem. That's on you, man. You were not raised in love and with love. And that's on you. That is on you. I appreciate people, both men, women, children. In fact, if possible, I can appreciate a dog. I have nothing tight. I'm not wet because I appreciated you. No, no. Be used to love. Be used to love. Do you understand? Be used to love. Any little thing you think it must end in ejaculation? No, no. Keep your sperm to yourself. No. Yeah, I brought it hurt. Keep your sperm, your damn sperm to yourself.
Wank if you want to. I'm not there for you. Be used to kindness. Women, be used to kindness. Let men appreciate you without being sus suspicious of them. I give men and women money. I want nothing back. I'm not giving you money to lay with you. I am not a chicken. Jeez. I give strangers money. And I am not wet because of that. I appreciate people. When people appreciate me, I don't think they want to sleep with me. Hell no. Take it easy. Not everything must lead, lead to... Uh, uh, no. It doesn't have to lead to orgasm. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Improve the other qualities of your life. Culture has made us focus on sex. Focus on your emotions. Be emotionally intelligent. Grow like an emotional adult. Be used to kindness. Be used to love and compassion. That's the way forward. Not everybody who hugs you or gives you whatever is, 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 wants to sleep with you. Any little thing like this, it is sex. Grow emotionally. If you don't know how, go buy my book, Soul Stripper. Google it. Watch on YouTube. What you can't find on YouTube, get an invoice and pay for. You have grown in your sexual life and sexual appetite. Grow emotionally also. People are suspecting themselves. Because in their mind, he wants to sleep with me. No. No. I appreciate people, married men, married women. I have no desire. You are not even my spec. Ah, uh ah. -uh. And I'm not your spec also. Do you understand? People have turned sex to oxygen. The moment you wake up like this, you want to ejaculate. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Yeah. Please. The way forward. Remember what we're talking about? Do not be unequally yoked. With an unbeliever. Men invest in your emotions. Because one thing men look for when they're talking about intimacy is sex. Some of them can't even have relationships without sex. Kilo de. You've, you don't know the soul. You don't know the spirit. You want to know the body. That's emotional theft. And then once the sex is good, they think life is good. Not exactly. You don't know the soul. And then after all the swinging and swinging and swinging, you now find out that you are not compatible with the soul and the spirit. You must learn as a man how to separate sex and intimacy. Before they touch you people, they say you have erection and you are on heat. Here. Ha. What is it? Don't your erection have direction? You see, every time you are erect... them destroy you with this uh, men are men are visual people women are very visual maybe i should not even say women i am very visual if you are not fine we can't date all my exes are clean fine men everybody i've been with are clean me <laughs> president of lovely life <laughs> whoa the same way i am cerebral is the same way i'm very carnal Meanwhile, I just even added Rita Dominic to my mentor. Did you see the tensioning at her wedding? That's my mentor in tensioning. Do you understand? Clean men. You know when they say beauty is in that of the builder, it's not me they are talking to. Beauty is in my eye. And my speck is powerful. Light in complexion men. You know some people say, that cannot say, no concern me, it's good for them. I have speck. President of fluffy life. I have a speck. I can't be speaking in tongues before doing anything with you. Hell no. I have a speck and I am glad because my speck is the speck of specks. Do you understand? Please, let's respect ourselves. When you're in a relationship, put sex somewhere. I didn't say marriage or relationship. People are just running into the bedroom every time you are not having discussions 
What is our family constitution? What does or what will our family represent? What will be our vision? What will we be known for? You know, be having hard conversations. No. All you want to do is sub breast. As if you lacked breastfeeding when you were young. Ha! Huh. Somebody is asking me that should you grow or fall in love? Me, I know that anytime people fall, they have injury and they have bruises. So I think that you should grow in love. Open your eyes. See what you can live with and what you cannot live without. I personally, I have what I can live with and what I cannot live without. And I am not rushing anywhere. I'm not competing for anything. I'm not in a relay race. My destiny is not your destiny. And I'm not pressured. Everybody in the world can go and get married. And they are all be that. I don't have any friends pressuring me. I don't have any family member pressuring me. I won't even pick your call. If I know that pressure is your middle name. Do you understand? I'm not bothered that my classmates have children. Some of my classmates have 15, 16 year olds as their firstborn. It's not bothering me. The position of a godmother is enough. The position of an auntie is enough. Do you understand? My hand and my life is secure in God. I am not tormented by anybody. There's nothing in your life that I want. I am content and I trust my Savior. So all of this unnecessary pressure, eh, eh, you people go for a eh, ready reception and then while you're eating jollof rice, you are not thinking, you are not crying. It doesn't, have, it doesn't bother me. When I go for reception, I dance with reckless abandon. I forget my home training and I eat and I go. I'm not even using them as a point of contact because it's not my business. My problem is not lack of men. I just want to marry my husband. Even witches are married. How much more me? President of fluffy life. Pretty girl without makeup. Is it easy to be staring at my pink lips? Are you serious right now? Do you understand? So, I don't go out and allow anybody to stress me. It is cold in Dallas and I'm drinking my tea and I'm enjoying my life. I'm under my duvet. There's no, I'm not camping with anybody. Nobody's camping me. And I'm not snatching anybody. Jesus died for me. I am not a snatcher. Jesus died for me. Do you understand? I am not snatching. And I'm not watching porn. I'm not masturbating. No. No. I am here talking on Instagram. Gisting with all of you. Beautiful, sexy, black babe. Anointed. Emotionally, I am there. Spiritually, I am there. Financially, I am there. Mentally, I am there. Physically, I am there. Do you understand? Full spec. So it will be a disgrace to my father to not be acting desperate. Please, 8 billion people in this world. No, I'm the president of Fluffy Life Association. No. His eyes are on the sparrow. If he can feed the belt of the air, how much more me, more? Dr. A, pastor, doctor. <laughs> Do you understand? Increase your self-esteem. Jesus died for you. Increase your dignity. Jesus died for you. So that you will not die in marriage. Ah, oh, offering time, my darlings. Offering time. Offering time. After hot word, you have to give the offer. Sex does not change men. No food does not change men. If you like, do doggy or catty or catfish. I don't even have pimples. Do you understand? And what do I use? Baby oil. I don't have any maintenance cream. Not as I am like this. Is 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 the blood that is maintaining me. Let me go and eat breakfast. It's already late. Where I am? Oh, my darlings. Please give the offering. Thank you so much for showing up for this assembly meeting. I know that it was hard on you. I feel it. I feel that it was hurt. For ladies who think that sex is going to change anybody, they will have sex with you. They will go have sex with others. Minister of sex. Sex doesn't change anybody. You. No, this one you can change you can change whoa 
No, if you like, let them fold you. By the time you are unfolding like this, your bones might have broken. Alrighty, I'm gonna drop this on Instagram. It's also going to be on my YouTube channel. If you're not on YouTube channel on my handle, just put at emotions doctor on YouTube. At emotions doctor, please follow me, share the video, let people be there, show me some love on YouTube. I have 245 videos on YouTube, 245, 245 videos on YouTube. Go feast on them. Go feast on them. Go feast on them. 245. And I interviewed good people. Good, good interviews. Industry leaders are there. 245. Just put at Emotions Doctor on my YouTube channel and you're good. I love you. I'm rooting for you. And remember not to be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. Somebody who doesn't believe in you does not deserve to be with you. Lose people and let them go. Yeah. Jesus died for you, babes. Jesus died for you, babes. He died for you, guy. I love you. See you some other time, darlings.